sorry, I couldn't resist that. Can I thank the organisers of this demonstration very much for the work they put in in bringing you all together. Thank all of you for coming. I want to say a brief word about our good friends in the noble fourth estate, in the press and media in this country. I was once described by a marvellous publication called the Daily Mail. I was once described as the voice of the irresponsible, left-led, anti-family, anti-Christian, gay whales against the bomb coalition. I think that's a badge of pride. And so I'm very proud as well to be sharing a platform today with the most dangerous woman in Britain. Well, Nicola, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> what viewers saw on their television screens a few nights ago was something new. A far broader political landscape in these islands than the media are keen to show us. There is a wave of anger, not just in this square here in Glasgow, but up and down Scotland and throughout these islands, anger at the idea of cutting billions from the budgets that support the most vulnerable people in society while spending even more billions on a new generation of weapons of mass destruction. There are some who may not want to show voters that anger, who may not want to show voters the alternative to the voices who say that decision must go ahead. Our job, your job over the coming weeks is to make sure people hear that alternative voice. You may well be committed already to voting for a political party that opposes Trident or for an individual candidate who passionately and consistently opposes Trident. That's great, but it's not enough. You need to take that message out day after day Raise the issue with your friends, your family, your colleagues, your neighbours, people in your community. Make sure they bring the issue of Trident to the top of the political agenda when they decide how they're going to cast their vote. Yeah.